Um, I mean, during the time, you know, that you played for the NBA, from the, your NBA salary alone, you made $104 million. Not to count the Nike money and, and whatever else and so forth. When you look at all the money you made during that time, do you feel like you invested it well and are now living a carefree life? Or did you make a lot of mistakes along the way, have people steal from you and so forth, where you wish you had done something different? I didn't have people steal from me, but I wish I'd done a lot of stuff different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, everybody thinks that when you jack off a lot of money. Right. But I got very, very smart at the end of my life, and my life is really comfortable now. Good. I make more money than most people imagine, really, right now. Love as of the stuff that I do. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I got too much going on. People want to give me money just to be doing something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I got a great team with me too. You know, I got a lot of people who work with me uh, that I, I really re- appreciate and I respect. And they get it done for me too. So that's just the way it go. If I get smart people around me and I make it smart, they're going to they're gonna do great things for me. Yeah. So nowadays... My life, like I said, I think my life is more popular than when I was a basketball player. I, I really do think that because I get everything done. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, who could get a weed named after him with a bag on it and then get more stuff to come out like that? So it, it, it's great for me. It's I love great. it. I love it. 2008, uh, the Supersonics moved to Oklahoma and got renamed to the Oklahoma Thunder, which basically ended the whole era. <laughs> you know which I'm sure you blame Howard Schultz for that. Very that much, demise. very much. I mean, when, when the Supersonics just ceased to exist and, you know, the majority of your career was with them and now they're the Oklahoma Thunder, how did you feel that day? I felt like uh, the world ended in Seattle hmm. because they that, that, that city and them fans don't deserve that. They don't deserve it. And I've been working very hard to get it back. So you're trying to get that or a new team, I guess? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna just try to get an expansion team. Expansion team. And I think an expansion team is gonna happen. I think with Adam Silver, who it is, and he knows that, we're gonna add some teams. And I think Seattle is one of them teams that he's gonna add. And I, I think that they deserve it. As getting a new hockey team there as the Krakens right now, and making it understand and, and the arena that they just built there, I think it's gonna be something that the NBA has to look at. And then I think at the opening of the Krakens uh, NHL season, they, Adam Silvers was there, and he 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 did the mm. facility. Okay. So I think it's going to happen. I okay. think it's going to happen, and when it happens, it's going to be a great great thing. I'm going to be a part of it. It's going to be really good. First thing we're going to do is is retire Detlef Shrimp and Sean Kemp's uh, jersey, and we're going to make a big deal about it. Are you, you know? trying to be an owner if there's a new team? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm going to be invested okay. in that. Nice. So, you know, so it's going to be it's going to be really, really good about that. You know, 